Hello guys, it is the second part of the video tutorial of the simulation of Excel compressor in Ansys CFX. Uh, we will be using the rotor 67 geometry. So uh, in previous video we have to create the turbo grid mesh for this rotor and in this video let's go to the Ansys CFX, connect the turbo grid with Ansys CFX and open the CFX model and, and set up the boundary condition for our geometry. So now we have this geometry. We have imported it from Turbo Grid. Let's go to the Turbo Setup, choose the Excel compressor machine. We have the only rotor component of the mesh and here we have to set the speed of the rotor and we have the this arrow here and we have to change the direction of rotation because for compressor we have this direction true and go to another rows and here we have the correct settings. Choose the air ideal gas, reference pressure set 0, total energy for heat transfer and let's set the inlet boundary condition. It will be the total pressure and total temperature. Total pressure 1 atmosphere and total temperature from the ethical, ok? Here we have the mass flow rate. This is optimal point of the working of this Excel compressor. Let's set it for per machine. It means for all compressor. And here we have the solver parameters. Okay, the next. Here we have the tip gap clearance between shroud and blade. The periodics condition and click next. Here we have the boundary condition for all patches and here we have uh, for shroud we have the choose the counter rotation wall because the shroud not rotating. So now we have set the parameters and let's set up the parameters of the convergence. It will be 5000 iteration. Here we can change the advection scheme. It will be high resolution and first order. If we choose the uplink, it will be less accurately and more stable simulation. It for bad meshes, for example. So let's go to the expression and create the pressure ratio. Parameter and let's choose the mass flow heavy apps. It will be mean value of total temp total pressure in absolute coordinate system for inlet patch. Now uh, for outlet patch we will be using and divided it by inlet patch. The average number of total pressure and let's create the another expression with total temperature ratio. We can choose here the total temperature in absolute coordinate system for and for outlet patch and divided it also by the inlet patch. Click apply and we have the two expression and 
here we have inlet and here outlet. Go to the output control and create the monitor point. It give us possibility to control the number of temperature ratio and pressure ratio during the simulation. We can see how to how changes these parameters during the steady simulation with iterations. Okay, let's close the CFX and save the project and go to the simulation. Click the solution and wait. So here we can parallel um, set the number of cores. I click the 10 number and let's click start. So now we run the simulation and here we have the, our pressure ratio and temperature ratio. So um, now I will increase the speed of simulation because uh, this simulation will be very long, one hour I think. This residuals we have to the smaller than we can get. And now we have the very good convergence for this case. Good convergence because the residuals very small. And here we have the efficiency of our compressor it 91 and an experimental. We have the pressure ratio 1.63 and for the simulation we have the 1.66 it's very similar and go to the efficiency and efficiency we have also 91 92 something like that so and uh, for this mass flow rate we have the very similar results of simulation and for getting the full curve of the simulation you can just calculate the different mass flow rate for this rotor 67 and get the curve temperature ratio performance curve of course and uh, pressure ratio and efficiency for example uh, so now let's go in post processor to the expressions and let's see the our pressure ratio and temperature ratio. We can see it also. Uh, let's initialize the compressor and we can to see the loading to on the blade for different span for shroud for example. For hub, also this pressure loading. Also, we can choose any flow parameter for it and go to the report. And we have the very good default report for Excel compressor rotors. It will generate the different fields, pressure fields, Mach fields, velocity fields, and another the 
nice pictures go to the report view just wait some minutes and here we have the results of the simulation you can see the our bl blade loading our efficiency for example total temperature total pressure ratio total temperature ratio there are different coefficients also we can compare it with efficiency for these points the total pressure ratio is very similar with attic with experimental results and we have the different flow parameters here the light loading the pressure distribution this is our mesh and this fields velocity for different span hub average shroud the mach the velocity and streamlines of course you can manually to calculate all these parameters or create the fields but the report is very simple for generation so let's close the post processor and thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and goodbye